Hi guys, I'm Adam Fennig with Fennig Equipment and you're tuned into the Talking Shed. Um, about two weeks ago we did a video on the uh, Yetter Devastator versus uh, a non-devastated field and I wanted to really break down um, how the residue breaks down in both scenarios. Um, but I, I've had a lot of requests to take it one step further and here we are comparing everything from a calmer corn head to a uh, fall vertical tillage pass to a chiseled field and uh, I really want to break it down for you guys um, what we're seeing you know it, it's uh, creeping up on late March here in Ohio and uh, this is what we're going to be planting into or this is the residue that we're going to have to manage here this spring and this is a result of what we did in the fall so I really want to break down each stage for you guys and show you what it what it looks like uh, here in the spring so Starting off here, um, you can see I really had to work to get this out of the ground. These are um, untouched stalks, just simply harvested stalks, nothing done with them. Um, if you look, I mean, these things are hard as a rock, and it's pretty tough to even break them. I mean, they, these things are, are stiff, and even come spring, they're going to be doing tire damage. And if you were to break them open and look, there is virtually no residue breakdown. I mean, it, it's completely dry inside of here, just like it was um, in the fall. So there was no moisture that could get in here. There was no air that could get in here. And we just had probably two inches of rain, and this is completely dry. So that's, that's the untouched stalk. I get it a lot of times where guys will tell me that they don't need the Yetter Devastator because maybe they've got a calmer uh, stalk rolls. And the calmer and, and other um, products do a great job of managing residue of that top three quarters of that plant. They're really going to size that residue up here, but it will not touch the bottom quarter of that plant, the stalk, um, you know, the very base of it that'll eat your tires and, and that's actually hardest to break down. So this is a calmer. Um, corn stalk and we've got very similar effects of it as well up towards the top it was broken down some but you get down here into the bottom it's still extremely hard and again all of these were collected within a mile radius of each other and again dry inside so that brings us to this one you guys have seen these devastated stalks before I want you guys to really see here that this is still connected to the root ball. These three roots were all devastated, these three stalks were all devastated and they're all still attached to the root ball. That's a key factor. Now, look inside this stalk here and compare it to, to the two we've already seen, it's soaking wet. This stuff is very brittle, soft, and the whole length of this stalk is broken open because that devastator has those crimpers on it and it, it really breaks that open and, and allows moisture and the microbes to get inside of here. So, as you can see, all three of these are just shattered, broken open, and, and really, really breaking down well. So that's the devastated one. Now, we move over here to this one. This is a fall vertical tilled field. Um, this was actually with a Great Plains uh, turbo till. Now, yeah, granted, there is moisture inside of here. It has been broken down, but if you notice, none of it was attached to the root ball. And actually, there was a lot of uh, smaller pieces lying in the side ditch in this particular field. It was broken up into smaller pieces, but it wasn't pinned to the ground. The Devastator does not remove anything from the root ball, so it keeps all that pinned to the ground. Um, we move over here to a, a chiseled field. I have several guys that tell me they don't need devastators for, for uh, uh, residue management because they do fall tillage. Maybe they run a case 875. And that, that's a very good practice for managing residue. But you can even see, um, you know, these, these stalks were buried about uh, three inches under the soil and they're still not completely broken down. They're still dry in there. and. Um, you know, they, there are parts of them that, that do compare to the Devastator, but uh, they also required, you know, at least one pass in the fall, 
and uh, this spring they're going to require at least one pass as well. So as you look across all of these, we've got five different varieties of residue management. Um, you know, you can see that uh, the Devastator being a low cost tool is not only going to save your tires, but it's going to maximize this residue management for spring. Now, why is the residue management important? Um, we know that our nutrients are locked up in this residue. All the nutrients we put on last year is now in this, and we now have to get this broken down to get the nutrients back into the soil to prepare for the next crop for years to come. We constantly have to break them down, and year after year, these are getting stronger and stronger. So we've got to start breaking them down sooner and sooner. You can about imagine how long it's going to take for this residue to break down when those stalks are still standing up come planting season of the following year. Um, it gets really tricky to get this cycle going when stalks are still standing 12 inches above the ground. So the Yetter Devastator, um, it's, it's, uh, you come over here and you can see it mounts right under your corn head. It's a simple roller here. Um, we've got crimpers right where the rows run. Um, advantages are it's going to save your tires. We just talked about the uh, residue management benefits and uh, it, it does a lot for you. It's, it's very low cost for what it does. You know, we just compared what the Devastator does to an 875 chisel as far as residue management and they're actually pretty comparable. Um, an eight row devastator is going to run you right around that $4,000 range and uh, it requires zero extra horsepower and zero extra passes. So it's a very low cost, low maintenance item that has an extremely high return on investment. So I had a lot of requests from guys to do this video and compare how vertical tillage, how chiseled fields, and how the calmers compared to the Edderstock Devastator. And in my opinion, um, on return on investment, the Yetter Devastator uh, wins this test hands down. So that's uh, what we've got for today. We went out in the field and uh, wanted to do a really cool video on the Devastator. So thanks for tuning in.